Good morning, belovers, and good day to you. Happy Labor Day. Today, we're going to learn all about Labor Day. Keep watching. Hello, belovers. Today, we're going to talk about Labor Day. Oh my gosh. I thought it was just going to be like a quick, like little, just go on Wikipedia and just find out what Labor Day is. And oh my gosh, I fell down the rabbit hole because I just don't take things at face value. I need to do my research and I have news for you. First of all, I just want you to know that Labor Day is a byproduct of Aquarians and Cancerians doing work together. So you're welcome. I'm an Aquarius. <laughs> I bet you didn't know that. Well, now you do. Okay, let's get to it. Okay. Number one, I'm going to give you the dates and what they tell you in the history classes. Okay. And I'm going to break it down for you. This is the first important thing you need to know. Number one, 1882, Matthew McGuire proposed the idea of there being a Labor Day. Okay. Number two, in 1887, Oregon was the first state to declare Labor Day as a federal holiday. By 1894, 30 states within the United States declared Labor Day as a federal national holiday. This is where things get kind of hairy. Okay. So so I was like thinking, okay, Matthew McGuire had this whole notion for Labor Day, right? Where did it come from? And first of all, why do we not wear white after Labor Day and all this other stuff, which I'm going to tell you in a minute. But first, I want to tell you why we have Labor Day. Okay. First of all, okay, first of all, Matthew McGuire, okay, he's amazing. And it's M-A-G-U-I-R-E. He's the originator of Labor Day. Now, there has been some kind of uh, chatter amongst others who said that Peter J. McGuire, that's M-C-G-U-I-R-E, okay, that he he was the originator of Labor Day. Now here's something that you don't know, okay? Matthew McGuire was apparently like a radical and he had like these wild ideas that, you know, you shouldn't be killing yourself working and you should get paid better, right? <laughs> Even then in the 1800s, that was a concept. <laughs> that wasn't supported, apparently. So Samuel Gompers, okay, he was the Aquarian. He was the president of the labor union, okay? Now what was going on was that there was gonna be a meeting going on because there was like a brotherhood of like carpenters and like the National Labor Union. Now, besides the fact that PJ McGuire was uh, the secretary of the carpenters union, okay? He was also friends with Samuel Gompers. Now keep in mind, okay, that PJ is a cancer and so is Matthew, okay? They're both cancer signs. I had to look up their charts and like just to see like if there's anything coincidental with that Labor Day was started by cancer signs. But like the leader of it all was an Aquarian. Leave it to us Aquarians to start the revolution. But hear, hear me out here, okay? Samuel Gompers was not so cool, okay? Despite the fact that he was an Aquarian, okay? That was the only cool thing about him. Now what you need to know, okay? PJ McGuire, he was a secretary of the Brotherhood of Carpenters or he was just a secretary of the Union of the Carpenters, okay? But he was also part of the Carpenter Brotherhood or whatever, okay? I don't know if it's like the same as the Jesus Brotherhood, but it was still just a brotherhood of carpenters. Anyway, it was said that he was the one who proposed that we work eight hour work days. So you can thank him for your eight hour work days. But back then the work days were 10 to nine hours. And people who did not want to fall in line with this idea of eight hour work days did continue to work their nine hour work days. Okay, good for them. Now here's the thing. This parade was actually not a parade. It was actually a riot for workers demanding uh, lower work hours and higher wage, I believe. Now the funny thing is, PJ McGuire was all about work and working, but he only wanted the parade, if you look into it, like why he wanted the parade, to recognize laborers. He did not want to recognize the parade as a parade for what it is. No, he just said the parade was a parade to recognize, you know, working, and we should not work for that one day of the parade. Whereas Matthew McGuire was actually celebrating workers and saying, hey, we need to get a day, you know, to recognize that we're working too much and we need to be working like regular people and not exerting our life away, you know. That really made me kind of happy here. But what really didn't make me very happy was the fact that Samuel Gomper thought that Matthew McGuire was a radical with this idea, but hello. So this whole idea was like, picture this. In my mind, I'm reading all of this as I'm going down the rabbit hole and I'm imagining Samuel Gompers in an office, okay, with Peter McGuire saying, what are we gonna do about these radicals that are doing parades out in our streets here in New York City? He said, you know what, why don't you go down there and start the parade and this is what you're gonna do instead. So we now shift the focus and now you're gonna be the puppet. You know, because the parade is happening in New York City, where is the Central Labor Union also, you know, and all of this is happening. And so I'm thinking, I'm just gonna assign you because your name is McGuire. And what if his name wasn't even McGuire? What if PJ McGuire wasn't even McGuire? Like how funny, now they don't know like which Maguire is the Maguire, like which Smith is the Smith, Smith, Smith. You did it on purpose, but we're gonna spell your name a little differently, you know? But coincidentally, again, they're both cancer signs. Like, it's just weird to me. Like, something's just like, you know, 
what was the whole point of this Labor Day movement anyway then? Like, obviously. Like, besides the fact of the depression and like deaths and like mail stopping, plus like 12,000 troops and like President Grover Cleveland coming in and the Congress, you know, rush voted this into legislature calling Labor Day into effect. I just really feel like, you know, obviously eight hour work days, did we, you know, factor in lunches and vacation time too? And like what I'm actually doing for the pay and how much actually paying me minimum wage? Hello? Ah! I'm just saying. I recognize that. And that was not cool, Samuel Gompers. So happy Labor Day to you. Like, this was the 70s, you guys, but like the 1870s. Don't you think that's kind of transcendent though, to even think about the fact that there was, you know, a radical movement for labor in the 70s, but like the 1870s, like, this is amazing, you guys. I know. Now here's the juicy stuff about Labor Day. Labor Day also marks the beginning of football season for those of you who didn't know. So get ready for football season. Football typically starts on the Thursday after Labor Day. Do you know that Labor Day is recognized as the number two highest holiday in the retail world next to Christmas, just so you know. So today, go shop, okay? Now, what fascinates me about the whole white after Labor Day thing, let's just go into this really quick. First of all, it is no longer a fashion faux pas for you to wear white after Labor Day. It's now a faux pas to consider wearing white after Labor Day a faux pas, if that makes any sense to you, okay? Now, the reason why is because I guess the wealthy would wear white because white is a a light color during the summer time. They would wear white during the summer time. So like if they sweat, it's not like, you know, whatever. And apparently the labor union workers always wore dark colors. And so by them wearing white colors, it shows that they're not working, right? Because they don't have to get dirty apparently because all workers are dirty. Who are you people? By implying that because I'm a worker, I'm dirty. Ugh. Whatever to you. <laughs> Point being is that that's why they do that. And also besides being white, a non-color for Labor Day, you're not supposed to wear a seersucker either. Seersucker is like a nautical, thin striped, kind of layered woven cottony kind of a cloth, whatever to you. But yeah, and that's that. I hope you enjoyed this awesome educational YouTube video on what is Labor Day all about? Happy Labor Day. Till next time, keep it real. Yeah. And I hope you enjoy the fruits of your labor. <laughs>